Anton Dubeck is on the phone. From where? Where are you? Well, I'm in my dressing room, uh, at the new Victoria Theatre in Woking. Uh, I'm, we've got pantomime currently going on at the moment, so I'll be I'll be putting my costume on. Uh, well, short of the time is it? Yes, I don't know, about an hour's time. And, okay. Uh, and on to on to Farge for a bit more panto. And what kind of costume are we wearing? Paint a picture there, Anton. There's millions who'd love to know what you're wearing. Well, I'm 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 a pirate, obviously. I'm of a pirate friend. I'm Smee in Peter Pan. Yes. And I've got obviously a long sock and uh, a, tr- a trouser. Just the knee. one. <laughs> oh, I only wear the one. Okay. And um, and a striped top and, and some sort of a, a sash and, and a little gilet affair. I mean, okay. it's, it's terribly fetching. It sounds. I can see why it caught on. Yeah, very much. And um, tell me this. I actually just remembered that I took a sneaky picture of your rider while I was, you know, perusing the uh, uh, judges' dressing rooms. Do you have <laughs> this on your rider in Woking? It's very tame. Sparkling water, still water. He likes to mix it up. A uh, panettone. I, I never know how to say that. Bananas. Panettone. Panettone. Thank Bananas. you very much. Bananas. Bananas. Thank you. I know that one. Easy peelers, plums, and chocolates. Well, no, the chocolates are an added extra. I don't go. You know, I don't. That's something they just. Everybody seems. Well, if you walk around the television studio, the Strictly Come Dancing one, yeah. invariably there are an abundance of chocolate treats. They're everywhere you go. Have you notice that? I Everywhere have you go, you can't get away from them. Chocolate and, pretzels, um, particularly. The, yes, see, they're nice. a delight. Um, but they are, uh, uh, but no, but they are. They seem to be in all the dressing rooms. But mm. yeah, that's I'm a, I'm a very and decent coffee and nice tea. Well, Revel uh, Horwood, Revel Horwood is a bit. Um, he's got he's Sauvignon. Trickier. Trickier for it sure. Much trickier. Sauvignon much trickier. Blanc and Rioja. Yeah. He likes to mix it and up, but in a different way to you. He also Entirely. likes red and green grapes, salted in mm-hmm. capital letters peanuts, and yes, he likes a ripe salted. avocado. Mm, very and he salty. Also likes, he likes cheese. He likes Jacob's crackers. Oh, <laughs> randomly. Okay. And and uh, and, uh, and a crisp. And a crisp. He likes a cheese and onion Cinder. crisp. Love that. Glad I didn't get too close to him. The record. Uh, um, uh, so listen, tell us now, <laughs> we, is it better being on the dance floor or sitting on your little perch? Uh, uh, well, I'm enjoying the perch. I bet you um, are. Because, you know, I'm in, I'm in it for the whole run then. The problem with the dancing is that you are, one and forty gets voted off at mm-hmm. some stage. And it's, it, I've, I've hated that since the first series. Ever since the first series, uh, when there was an elimination. Actually, there was an elimination. Uh, um, actually, there, there was an elimination series. There wasn't a dance off in the first okay. series. But um, ever since that moment, I thought, "Oh, this is no fun. I don't mm. like getting voted off." Thing, Stings. and then it became all too frequent as the years went on. <laughs> but um, so I've I've never liked the being voted off thing. And with the judging, of course, I get to stay stay until the final. But it is. It is lovely to be able to watch people develop over the weeks. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I loved watching you dance with Carlos. It was a great thrill every time you came out and performed. And you want to see if there's an improvement, if there's things that you've discussed and mm-hmm. you know, you've mentioned and, and then there's an improvement moving forward. And when there is, it's just a delight. Yeah, you feel yeah. like it's, it's because of something that one said. Mm-hmm, oh, yeah. you're only doing that because I said it, of course. You oh, yeah. So it makes you feel important and hurt. Yeah. I mean, it's obviously not the truth. I mean, the hours <laughs> of practice will have been the difference. Yeah. But no, no. It was definitely that nod. The four words that yes. we mentioned to you, don't forget to uh, look <laughs> left. And that was enough. I was just going to say, Anton, I don't remember ever you sticking to four words. Let's be honest. <laughs> they keep saying stick to four words yeah, but I keep translating that. that in my head as four words is not enough I agree so why I say four when them. you can say 40 Anton we're from the same exactly. school exactly. Um, now you were the longest serving professional dancer on the show do yeah. you think anyone's going to beat that I mean Giovanni's nipping at your heels is he or how far off is he well he's about halfway currently. Oh, I think he's been about nine years I think I did 18 uh, as, a, as a professional dancer. Oh and um, so, I mean, there's only Craig and I left, I went with Tess, of course, yes. uh, from the first series. Mm. So there was, a, there was a period of time where I was the longest serving professional dancer in the world. 
on any any type of Strictly Come Dancing format, whether it's Dancing with the Stars or whether it's something somewhere okay, else. Wow. I was the longest serving professional Did you get a world. plaque for it? I, no, I got nothing. No. And I got I just sort of mentioned it and I got eliminated. Fine. And then, and, and Craig, of course, was the longest serving judge because Strictly Come Dancing by, you know, was the first one of, of its type. Oh, kind, so yeah. it was, I, I, I take great sort of, Pleasure, and I have feel sort of honoured about that. Really, being mm. longest serving and being there since the beginning, because I love the show. Yeah, and you'll know as you, having done it. It does. Once you've done it, you're sort of part of it. Because you'll be forever strictly come dancing star. Angela Scanlon. <laughs> whatever else you do in your life will be of little irrelevant. Time. Irrelevant. Oh, it all I mean, pales it next to me, Charleston. You know. No, well, your Charleston. Let me tell you about your Stop Charleston. It. I loved your Charleston. I people ask me what was your favourite dance of the series, and it's terrible really because I, I of my three favourite dances, two of them are yours. Well, thank you very much. I loved your Charleston. I was so gobsmacked and blown. I, I, I appreciate this is literally the only reason you've got me on to uh, the show today. And I'm, I'm just I'm trying really, to make up for a bit of bad um, taste, you know? <laughs> well, I, I, I'm sure you'll, you'll come around eventually. But, <laughs> Maybe. Um, uh, but your Charleston was extraordinary. Extraordinary. We did have a ball. Well, we did have a ball. We really I always did. Think that the, I always think that the, 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 the pros and Carlos should have been that good anyway. So yes. that was of no surprise to me because he is brilliant, yeah. as are all the pros. But when you come out and do that, it was sort of different level extraordinary. I thought you were remarkable. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so well you. Done. It was a real moment. It's funny because you think back, you're like, oh, yeah. In the, it, when you're in the thick of it, you're kind of, you know, so concerned that your pelvic floor will yes. hold up and that you're, you know, in sync that you're not really, um, I, I mean, you're there, but you're not really there. And so it's only when you look back at it, you're like, oh, yeah, that was, Gosh, that was that a was thing. Good. Yeah, it was, it yeah. was a bit of a moment. But also it our is, Argentine it is a tango. Thing. Head down. Our I mean, your tango, tango was brilliant, but you'd had a bit. You'd been going a bit longer up until that point. So this you'd, is true. You'd sort of, you've been in the show for a bit. You got yeah. used to it a bit. You, the tango was brilliant. Blackpool, the setting, the oh, moment. Blackpool it is magic, isn't it? It was sort of like a perfect combination, yeah. really, yeah. of everything. That mm. dance. I thought and then that next was, week, sucker punch. Well, there you go. <laughs> so what did you do? It's the did, highs and lows, you, you know. It's the highs and yeah, lows. I but look, um, you are going. On tour next year yeah. with Giovanni. Yeah. Oh, well, that's in the summer. I'll be out on tour on my own before that in a show called Showman. The sh- Anton de Beck, the show. That's the uh, name and of the show. And named. Uh, and so we're doing that. I'm doing that through the, the spring. And then I, and I, then I go, come back in the autumn and I do it a, 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 again. And then we go into Christmas and then I go into a Christmas show. So I've got sort of a two halves of my year with my show next year. I start off in the in the spring. And I mean I know people are it's that time of year we're running late of Christmas present ideas. It's a great idea. Go online, book a ticket, come and see my show. Merry Christmas. Tonight. There oh, you go. Christmas Merry Christmas. There, Christmas. You know. Thank right you very there. much. I think it's a great idea. But I'm so excited and I'm I've been talking with my M D this morning actually as I was coming to the theatre about music and the great thing about putting together a new show is, you know, the world's your oyster and then you it's what you don't use, and you've got to find mm. the thread to run through the show. It's just some brilliant ideas. I've got some wonderful people in the show with me. Great band on stage again. Incredible uh, musicians once again. And uh, and you'll know what that's like, dancing on Strictly Come Dancing with Dave Arch and his band. Oh, magic. There's something, there's something magical about having mm. live music to dance to. And I've got yeah. some wonderful... I've got the great Lance Anton again and, and, and another... Uh, a uh, couple of people on the show we're going to see a couple of show songs that are just a great voice a lady called Michelle Andrews who's, a, who's been in the West End for years and she's got the most incredible voice so, okay, so we're going to have a lot of fun with this it's going to be singing, a singing dancing laughter I'm sure a few cheeky stories chucked in there there's a, there's a lovely Irish girl I've got a lovely story about oh they all are she's got a lovely story did you say she's got a, a lovely story about this, this tremendous Irish girl I once met Lovely oh. dancer she was. Listen, stick it in there. This little is for you. grumpy, little grumpy when she got voted off. But other than that, she's <laughs> heartbroken. I think you'll find there's a difference between those emotions. Not that you're tuned into the man. <laughs> I mean, no, you forgot. It used to happen to you so early on that you never really got the, oh, to feel goes. the full there sting of it. Goes.
<laughs> I love you really this one's for you Anton Amy Winehouse I know you chose it as your moment of the series it was a few weeks before the end but like it was a moment and um, yeah thank you so much for chatting well to us today and have a gorgeous Christmas with all your clan and to you my love and to okay. you we'll see you in tour in, in January yeah Let's do it. Please tell me you're doing the Charleston. I am doing the Charleston. Get your paddle ready, Anton. I'm doing the Charleston and the AT just for a bit of gear change, you know? Show them my full range. Oh, yeah, baby. Two good ones. Two good ones. Excuse me. There was a few more than two. (laughs) Our Paso in Halloween week, I beg to differ with you. You said I was like a young (laughs) Anna Pavlova, whoever that is. (laughs) <laughs> She's a lovely dessert. Well yeah, done. Delicious. You are better than a dessert. Good, taste doing. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Happy Christmas, lovely. You're a beauty. Bye-bye. <laughs>